What's up, guys? A bit of a mystery box today. Don't mind the room. It is, uh, it's fucked up. I'd, like, yesterday I said I wasn't going to do another video with the kids until they wait till they go to bed, but I'm a little excited about this. It's kind of a mystery box. This was shipped to me from an, uh, a good friend of mine. I like to call him a good friend. Um, it's the first time anybody's ever done something like that for me. Uh, maybe the second time. Actually, somebody else has it been pretty good to me too but uh he shipped this to me um basically for free it was for free i mean he, he did not I, I asked him if he wanted to, you know, for me to reimburse him for uh for shipping and he, he wasn't gonna do it so i'm gonna do something nice for him um here later on cool dude i'm sure a lot of you guys know him joey romero awesome collection i actually i dig the shit out of how he uh you know you know takes pictures of his stuff and just uh the style of what he collects and what he's into it's really fucking cool he's a super nice guy um so yeah so he picked this up at a thrift store and it caught my attention immediately when i saw it and i pm'd him about it and um kind of went from there and i uh, bugged him a little bit and he shipped it out we were trying to kind of locate it he, he is familiar with uh, be something studios he has some of that stuff but he was telling me there's no tag on this thing at all. There's no stamp up in the top where it would say, like, you know, BY, BY. There's none of that going on. That's from what he said, although I haven't seen shots from up in, in this mask yet. Um, it really looks like a 70s hooded skull. The mouth area is cut out right there. I don't know who the previous owner, what they were doing with it. Um, obviously, I'm not going to wear this thing, but if it is 70s, with a little mouth area uh, missing, that's fine with me. It's probably just for breathing when they wore it. Um, I'll probably just put some black felt, or some, somebody mentioned put some black felt over it or something like that, or under it or through it, so whatever. I don't care. This is a, an actual 70s skull. Even like an early 80s, that would be fucking awesome. So we're gonna crack it open real quick. I'm actually gonna save this box, spurt the pen. Fucker. Let's see, man, I have a knife in here. Uh, let me get this thing out real quick for you. I hope everybody's doing good out there today. Got some really cool stuff coming in. I think tomorrow's the big day for the really big item. I think I have like two or three things coming in tomorrow, actually. I'm pretty excited about uh, from just different artists that um, you know, I'm starting to collect. You know, obviously different vintage masks from different artists. Uh, you know, things I'm obviously interested in. I can't get it, the whole line from everybody, obviously. Uh, that'd be crazy. I wish I had that kind of room. That would be fucking dope. But, uh, just going after the things I really like. Mostly demonic shit. And, uh, you know, it's off the wall crazy shit sometimes too. So, it's all mixed up. So, I'm going to open this up. I'm going to save this box because uh, something sold today. Um, just some mask I've had in my closet. And it's just, you know, fucking sitting there. So, why not give somebody the opportunity to... Uh, Put it in their collection. Hmm. Okay. So here it is. Very eager to uh, check this thing out. I got a fucking sticker. Joey, you fucking are the shit, brother. That's gonna. I love my stickers, man. If anybody has stickers, send them out. Send them, send them, send them out. So I am unsure about this. The mouth is cut out right here. Um, it definitely looks like a B something, although from the inside, just the way the paint smudges and shit are, and the way this pull it looks from the inside, from their vintage stuff, it definitely looks like a B something. Uh, let me see something here. Yep, even has like the little uh, Velcro right at the bottom here that would go over, kind of like the 77 fangs, but there's honestly no tag in this thing at all. Joey was not lying. Um, trying to even dig one up here out of the hood area. And there, as you can see, there is just absolutely nothing going on inside this thing. I have no clue what the hell to, to make to think of this thing. Any of you guys who have, um, so it looks like they actually cut I think this is a 70s skull, guys. I believe they cut, you can see right here where they cut the eyes where it would go across so they could have more visible room. 
So it would be a line across here and a line across here, and then the mouth would obviously be closed on the 70s. So this is definitely, I believe, a 70s uh, hooded skull from Be Something Studios. Um, if you guys uh, disagree or you think it's something else, I would love to hear uh, your thoughts on that, but it's all leaning towards that. I even showed somebody who was collecting, you know, and has stuff to be something stuff, and they even said that it uh, kind of looked pretty much like a 70s skull. But anyway, it looks like the eyes were cut off right here, so that leads me to believe that it's that, because if you ever see a 70s hooded skull, you'll see that the lines pretty much go across right here. So this black would be all the way up to the top of here, and then the mouth area would obviously be closed in. I love it. I absolutely love it. I've been searching for one of these bad boys for a long time. I'm going to get this thing on a display form somehow. Try to bring this, these, some of these creases right here. Um, you know, push them back. But it, I mean, it's all leaning towards that, guys. So I'll bring you guys in for a closer look. Post it in a few groups. Maybe you guys can kind of state what you think. There is. As you can see right here, see where it's been cut. Uh, hold on, let me get my finger right here. See where it's been cut right there, where it would go straight across on both sides right there, and then the mouth is cut out. But I love it, I dig it, it's a 70s. I'm, I'm leaning towards this thing as 1970s. Like I showed you guys, I wanna show you earlier, I mean, even the even the way this this the strapping is is placed, it looks like a vintage B something on the inside. Uh, looks like a vintage B something to me. Just the way the it has some weird shit going on in here. It's like Jeff. I guess it was the guy's name. Uh, for a good time, Jeff Luca. So that explains why the mouth is cut out. Gotcha, gotcha. No, it doesn't say that in there, guys. But it does have some dude's name and a, and a number. Uh, but there you are. I'm gonna go with 1970s B something hooded skull. <laughs> it's a little banged up, but I dig it. I mean, these things are fucking incredibly hard to get um, in general. I mean, they're just not easy uh, to get. So it looks like it's dented up, right? Where I'm pushing my finger down. It's dented up right there around that eye. I'm gonna stuff a ton of black trash bags in this motherfucker and just try to bring bring it back. Uh, to life somehow and then just display it man. It's fucking cool You know, it's just like my dad back in the day. He had a bunch of mail cards and fucking some, You know glued them to a, some construction paper. So no difference here Whoever had this thing back in the day didn't realize what they had they cut the sh mouth out I'm hoping it's not anybody you know as of uh, Recently would have done that but you never know Cool though. I dig it from far away you're not going to be able to tell. Um, you know, like I said, I'm going to put some black trash bags in this thing and display it, man. It's awesome. Thank you so much, Joey. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, you did not have to send this thing to me for, for free. You know, especially, the, you know, not even letting me cover shipping was fucking awesome. Dude's the coolest shit. Uh, one of my, you know, good friends in the hobby. Um, so, yeah. I, I, I cannot thank you enough. If anybody else, and there's the nostrils, so maybe somebody will know something different because of that. I have no idea. Um, I really would like anybody's input on this to help me out. But as you see there, we'll go over it one more time. The eyes have been cut where they would have went straight across that black latex, there and there, and the mouth was cut out. There's no markings, there's no stamp, there's no tag. Uh, the hood is nice and plush. The way it bends right there, maybe that's a giveaway. Like I said, I'm pretty uh, new, but I'm learning rapidly fast trying to about some of these older masks. Um, and I like what I like. I've always liked the skulls from Don Post. This was when I first saw this, really caught my eye. The hood, the hooded skulls are like one of my favorite things in, in, the, in the vintage mask world to collect, uh, just in general. Um, so that's kind of what I'm into. But if you guys can help me out, that'd be great. Have a good night.